It's day 101 of building the sci-fi office space. And now that the mezzanine's done, I need to figure out where the office is gonna live. I have stairs in the center, and one half I want to save for storage. That leaves 50 feet on the other side that's free. In that area, there's two large roof girders that can get in the way. The lowest part of the girders are five feet off the floor, so bumping into them is very likely. The solution is to hide these big girders in the walls of the office so that no one can see them. In order to get the weird shape of the office, I'm going to need some structural iron to support the walls and the third floor. This is going to be the skeleton for everything to attach to. I want to overbuild this structure. That way myself and the next guy after me doesn't have to worry about it. Like they always say, nothing too strong ever broke. For the support structure, I'm going to be using some 8x3 rectangle tubing. This stuff is heavy because it has a 3 8 wall thickness. I also got all my measurements with this little handy laser measure. Something like this is great when working with long distances, or you're by yourself. I've found that this one from Bosch is pretty accurate and I trust it. The first pieces that need to be installed are the corner columns. These columns go to the floor to the bottom of the girder. This is a fairly simple connection, but there's a few conditions that need to be addressed. In the winter, the roof of the building will be holding a lot of snow, and this can be heavy. Generally, the roof moves up and down depending on the snow load. I really don't want the mezzanine to bear the load of the roof when we get a lot of snow. So if we rigidly mount the column, it's going to put all that weight on the floor. So in order to fix this, we need to add a slip connection in between the girder and the column. This is pretty typical when doing remodels in a large building. It still allows the roof to move up and down and still hold the column in place and be strong. Where I'm mounting the column, the roof might only move an eighth of an inch, maybe even a quarter, but I'm gonna make sure I have a nice long slot just in case anything happens. This is gonna give a lot of flexibility for the mezzanine to expand and contract or move with the seasons. So I'm at the other end of the tube and I need to get this base plate welded to the bottom of the column. Traditionally, I would peg a tack on there and then move it around, tap it with a hammer to get it positioned where I want, but it's pretty fiddly the original way. I'm gonna be using the Monster Square and it's gonna do all that work for me with one clamp and a quick setup. The tabs make sure it's not twisted or rolled. And then I can take my base plate and set it up there where I want it to. And now everything's held in place and I'm ready to weld. 